Hello and welcome to another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And today's video, I'm going to answer the question, what does a data governance manager do? Now, I smiled when I saw the most recent email with this question in it, um, because it's actually a question that I've been asked a number of times recently by my coaching clients. And I think this comes around a lot because when you start doing data governance, you've suddenly got a manager, perhaps an analyst, a team, this answer applies to whatever. If you've got data governance in your job title, this answer will apply to you. So once you start having these roles in place and you're going around telling people in your organization that they need to start doing this thing called data governance, people often think that because you've got that title that you're responsible for doing it all. Now, I've had a number of clients over the years who get frustrated and upset because the um, business users believe that it's down to the data governance team to write all the definitions, to solve all the problems, to make sure that all the data quality is correct. And it's not true. So you might be listening to this wondering, well, if it's not true, what is the case? So if you are a data governance manager or a data governance analyst, or any other role on a data governance team, your job is not to write definitions, to solve data quality issues, to fix data quality problems. Your job is to make sure that your organization has a data governance framework. Now, if it hasn't got one and you're the first people in that role, then you'll be responsible for designing a data governance framework that is right for your organization and implementing it sounds so simple, but we know in practice that that involves a lot of effort and can be very challenging. Now, if you are um, not the first in role, or perhaps you were, but you've already done the implementation, but you have a data governance framework, what is it you're supposed to be doing now? Well, you're responsible for making sure that your organization has a data governance framework, that that framework is supported and functions as it should do, and that it evolves and continues to meet the needs of your organization. Now, what does that really mean in practice? Well, this means engaging with your stakeholders, um, making sure that all the data governance processes work. So you or your team are might be responsible for producing data quality reports. That doesn't mean that you write the data quality rules. You're responsible for liaising with the business users to get them to tell you their requirements. You create the, the reports and send them out to business users, data stewards, to look at and rectify any issues. If people report data quality issues to you, you log them, you monitor them to make sure that these things are getting produced, uh, progressed rather, sorry. But it's not down to you to go and investigate them. Absolutely, in the early days, you probably will need to be a bit more hands on helping the data stewards because they've never done this before. But once this has been in place for a while, it should be a case of you get notified of a data quality issue and you identify the right data owner and data steward to notify. And then your job is to liaise with them, provide a little bit of help and support if needed, but mainly your job is to make sure the issue gets reported to the right person and then you support them and monitor the progress is being made on it. Same with definitions. You're not going to have a data catalog overnight. So your job is to coordinate the um, writing and approval of definitions. And once you've had a data catalog for a while, perhaps facilitating a regular review, I suggest maybe annually of the definitions because things change and evolve over time. We can't do data governance once and assume it will stay in place. You're also responsible for making sure that your framework evolves to support any new changes in your organization. Perhaps it's merged with another company. Perhaps it's got a different way of, of doing its reporting structure. Or perhaps you're just embracing new technologies. Perhaps you're doing AI and your current data governance framework doesn't really allow for that and you need to evolve it. So your job is never just sitting still. It's always supporting and making sure that the framework works. And that will include the uh, you know considerable amount of effort it takes to run successful data governance committees with your data owners. So please don't let anybody tell you if you're the data governance manager or data governance analyst that your job is to write definitions, to write data quality rules. It isn't. You cannot be responsible for understanding all of the data across the whole organization. But what you can be responsible for is identifying and working with the people who do and should be responsible for it. And you are their expert support and guidance to help them do that.
So I hope that has been helpful for you. Um, don't forget, if you've got any other questions you'd like me to answer in future videos, please just email them in to questions at nicolaascom.com.